Welcome everybody. This is the Day Trading Options Daily Review for December 12th, 2016. One of the members in our Facebook group uh, asked about this day. We thought we would uh, take a little closer look at it for you. And our goal is to show you that you can make 15%, 10% in 10 minutes. I don't know where the 15 came from. And, uh, uh, and this, again, is not so much educational as it is inspirational, showing you that there is the opportunity to make some money uh, pretty much every day that the market is open. And you can usually make uh, over 10% and then usually in under 10 minutes. Sometimes, like in our last review, uh, it was uh, 250 to almost 300% in about 45 minutes. And I think we would all agree that if we could triple our money in 45 minutes, we wouldn't be complaining that we didn't make 10% in 10 minutes. Although we probably would have, but who wants to make 10% in 10 when you can make 345? <laughs> I'm Scott. He's Alan. Alan, we're taking a look at SPY, which is kind of the general market. Yep. And uh, what happened today? Well, the, the thing we're, uh, is we had one of the fellows, and that's the value of joining the Facebook group, is um, they ask a question and we give an answer. And so answers are always posted in the Facebook group. And sometimes, not very often, you know, we make this uh, daily review out of it. So uh, that's the point is if you're liking these uh, videos, you ought to join the group because you get uh, more interactive support. And you get to see real people saying, yeah, I got into this and or you know this is what I did and I I, I, I screwed up and I know it now and, and and anyways there's that kind of support there so uh, he, the, the question was uh, did anybody see any trades between 930 and 1130 uh, today and uh, would you trade and so I, I actually got into something and I'll show you that in a second but the idea is I'm gonna just go to the the top of the list here and just say well here's the point this is the point of the replay is you have some rules and then you say okay that becomes a trade or it doesn't become a trade and you don't want to be fishing for mediocre trades you want to be looking for patiently uh, good trades so in this case this doesn't fit my rules the volume's not big enough and you know the market's sure it's going down but doesn't fit my rules so that's not a trade and you can see it doesn't turn out to be a trade so if we look at another one this one fit the rules here that it was uh, two kinds of tint, but it's a little bit old of a trade because that's the third candle on a five minute candles is, is a long time. It pulls back, but then it turns out okay. So that one's a, a, a better trade, not a great trade. And Amazon, none of this really fits the rules. It's, it's going the wrong way over here. It's below the bar. You see, this is the kind of stuff you do as a review. This is a good trade before 945. It's a fresh candle. I know I'm using five minute candles and you really shouldn't at 945, but we're just doing a quick review here. Uh, keep it simple. It's it's fresh trade here. You got lots of volume and you only want to be in this thing for 10 minutes at the most in this time of day. And yeah, you'd be out and you would have made some money. Uh, going down into this zone again, that's not a trade, even though it's got volume and two kinds of tint. It's not a trade. See, so it's short, doesn't last. Um, this didn't uh, line up well. I won't get into all the details. That, that's not a trade. That's not a trade. And people that know the rules, they go, oh, okay, yeah, this isn't a trade yet. By the time it breaks the risk zone here, it's old. You don't get into that one. It's old. It's too late. And then let's just look at a couple others. That's the Dow. Um, there's another one here that looks sort of okay. Yeah, Goldman Sachs, you see here, same thing. It's old trade. You know, it started here, and then you're way too deep, and, of course, that becomes the end of the run. So you go, well, that might be a good trade later. So here you had uh, not enough volume. Here you had some volume, but you're right slamming up against SA. And guess what it does? It bounces off there. We've said this lots of times in the videos. That's always in the training, and, and, and we know that. So this... Uh, is a better trade because now it's got some volume. That's what that purple thing is. It's got two kinds of tint. It's uh, it's the new low of the day. It's below SA, so it has a chance of running. The problem is the market's running up. That black line, it's running up, and you're thinking you're going to make money on a red move? Nah. So, um, you know, this one you might have made money on, but there's no volume, which means that it's probably not going to go far. Guess what? it languishes up it doesn't jump up 
See, that's why we include these things in the rules. So I'm going to show you the one that I did trade. Yes, I actually traded this thing. And that's this one. It's not a normal stock that people um, would have on the list. I have it on my list as something I watch because I use it as a long-term indicator. And at this point, I really like this trade. People that know the rules go, oh, yeah, I think I see why. I've got some volume here. got some leading volume here. The market's running down. Uh, I got red breaking, uh, and I got two kinds of signal. Um, yeah, there's a bit of room here be between that and SA. This stock doesn't uh, run big dollar ranges, so this is enough. But because this was so strong, the market line, you know, I, I got it right there anyways, because it's like, yep, that one's a good one. And then, yeah, it bounces around in here and then does a little more bouncing around here. But guess what this tells me? That's a pretty strong angle for the market to move up. So I got out of it a little bit early. I didn't get out waiting for this and, you know, getting out here or any of that stuff. You know, that's a, a small up angle, but this is much steeper. So to me, the move's over. And uh, so I, you know, I grabbed my percentages off of that and got out of it. So uh, the value is joining the group because you can ask the questions and you can see other people. Yes, real people that we didn't hire <laughs> are making money and they're telling you, okay, this is what I did right and this is what I did I shouldn't have done. <laughs> and then you get to ask your questions. Did you want to see what that one worked out to? Scott. I do. Yeah, let's see how this... Uh, I don't this usually do that kind of stuff. So I'm going to paint it the way I paint it because uh, this is this is what I do. Let's go right there. I use three-minute candles. Uh, at this point, I, I liked it because of the volume there. The market's running down, you know, decent, you know, indicators. I waited a little bit. Oh, now I got some volume. I'm liking that. I'm waiting to see if this breaks a little lower. And it hesitated, but right there, that was the point where it's like, yes, I like this trade. So I'm going to bring up that by the put. And, you know, SA is down there. Uh, it's not very far away, but I liked it. So here we go. SA is at 67 cents, 106.67. I'm at 192. So you can see right there it touched SA. So I'm keeping my eye on it, but I got 4%. So if this thing bounces back, I can get out at break even is what I'm looking at. Yep, the volume is still there. The market's still there. Everything's looking good. So I'm hanging in. Market starts going sideways. I'm, I'm up 4%. I'm wondering, well, what's going on? Still got lots of red there. You know, getting a little, hmm, don't know. This is telling me I should look to get out pretty soon because it's going sideways. I see that, and guess what I do? <laughs> I don't wait for, well, how much deeper it can go. I just take the money because that's actually what we're here for. So, yeah, small gains. And on a day like today where you got the cloudy thing and the basket thing going on, it's like, hey, getting 10%, that's 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 good money. Just take that. You're not uh, expecting any big ones. That's right. 14% in 12 minutes. Can't beat it. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Alan. Appreciate you sharing this with everybody. Uh, if you're interested in knowing more, we have courses, and we uh, price them very reasonably. They're in the descriptions. Take them. When you take the first one, it just tells you how stock options and calls and puts and everything else works, gives you that foundation. The second level course shows you how to use the software and comes with 30-day uh, trial use of the replay. It won't allow you to trade live, but it does allow you to practice, practice, practice. And one of the important things about our system is the fact that you don't have to wait till the uh, stock market is open to practice. You can practice it in the middle of the night, in the middle of the morning, and any time in the evening that you want. And that's the important thing is to get lots and lots of practice in so then all of a sudden the different colors start meaning something to you, that you get a feel for how the market works, how the market reacts, uh, the ebb and the flow of the market. And then you also start discovering which stocks you really like because a lot of people that are very successful follow like two or three stocks and that's all they follow. And uh, we give you like the top 25 to 50 
stocks that uh, are going to make, you know, have potential to make money with options. Uh, but usually there's just a few that really give you a good opportunity. And, uh, and you start figuring out which ones those are for you. And uh, away you go. And you turn your computer into a little ATM. You spend a few hours a day. And then you spend the rest of the day doing the things that you like to do. And the last comment I want to make is we try to take all of the drama out of trading. We want it to be boring. And people hate hearing that. But you know what? If you want excitement and drama, jump out of a plane, you know, rock climb, go down waterfalls, uh, you know. Uh, there's lots of places to get drama. Your bank account is the last place you want to have drama. You want to make your 10 or 20% and then go have fun with your life. And you want it to be as incredibly boring as possible. And that's a hard thing for most people. And that's why we have a course on mindset. You have to have the mindset of a trader to be successful because on the other side of the screen is a guy who's been doing this for 50 years. He's an expert and all he wants to do is pick your wallet. And when you forget that, you're going to lose money. So anything you want to add to that, Alan, before we sign off? Uh, nope, that's it. Thanks, Scott. All right. So we'll see you in the next uh, video, everybody. Thanks for joining us. This has been the Day Trading Options Daily Review for December 12, 2016. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. We uh, really appreciate it. And really appreciate it if you give us a little thumbs up and or leave us a comment. So see you next time. Love you guys. Bye-bye.